And we are now playing as the Terran. I decided to make them neon pink and green. This is a galaxy I have already played for a long time. I have already unlocked almost everything that my faction has to offer. I have a lot of credits and a huge ship. This is my ship design. I have these plasma or proton swords up front. They cut through everything just like butter. I have tons of lasers all over my ship. I have a fleet of nine ships following me around. And I am currently located somewhat near the center. We're going to head back for, towards... Well, let's see. Where can we find some enemies? You know what? We're going to go through a wormhole to a whole new universe. And we're going to conquer that universe with these ships. Um, yeah, so those are my proton swords. Proton swords can chew through just about anything. I have my binding set to auto fire just about everything here let's see these are burst lasers they are set to auto fire okay so this ship will mostly auto fire but my frontal sword length weapons will be controlled entirely by my mouse and left click i am losing my fleet a little bit they are falling behind as you can see, that's an allied ship I do not control that, that I just bumped into there. This is not my best design. This was my first save file. My second save file, I uh, really got the understanding of the game a little bit better, but I don't want to sort of show off a total end game design. This is more of a mid game design, as you can see. We're actually capable of destroying enemy ships. We are not entirely impotent. We have a lot of lasers. We're a pretty big ship design. We outclass most of the ships that we are encountering here. When we go through the wormhole, it will generate us a whole new universe with tons of enemies that we'll be able to destroy. That should show off the game a little better than what I had with my first attempt. It was a little... And we're going to generate a whole new world. Hopefully our fleet comes with us. No, our fleet does not come with us. I can show off the uh, system whereby you can build your own fleet. So here I am. Cap here, this is what I'm going to build. The laser capital main ship. Uh, and this is my main ship. I, ooh, my resource banks are did not come through this universe with me, so all I have is credits. I can uh, go into command mode and purchase allied ships for a low price. They'll follow me around. They'll join my fleet. That really wasn't the best ship to recruit. I'm going to go grab some stations, though. Don't really need the credits, but uh, I need to head towards the center of the universe so I can get some resources. Here are some of the first enemies we're going to encounter. They are really outclassed by what we have now. We need to get to the center of the galaxy with this large ship before we'll be able to have a fair fight. And you know what? Let's get there a little faster. Put some extra boosters on. Is this my best booster? No, I've got this. I mean, it looks crazy, but we'll put, you know, we'll stick to the regular ones. Regular boosters, okay. And middle mouse click spawns whatever you most recently spawned. That's really convenient. And I can copy, paste, and put that on there. Delete that one. We're, just, you know what, just throw some of these on. We're going to be a lot quicker at getting to the center of the galaxy this way. I am over my size, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner. I can just pay to increase that, though, because I brought a lot of credits with me to these, this universe. Okay. This, you know what? We, we're going to want some more turning speed as well. So, you know what? Uh, I can still paste, yeah. Get some more turning speed here. And some breaks. What are going to be... You know what? Just It doesn't really... I don't have to design this perfectly. Just get some breaks on here. There we go. Negative thrust will allow us to break. So we'll have a higher top speed now. And as those get warped in... They're still warping in. Okay, there they are. There we go. Full speed ahead. And stop. 
and we can stop pretty quickly, so that's good. When you ram into asteroids, you do take damage, but uh, regeneration is entirely free. Every single unit, ship, block in the entire game will eventually regenerate itself back to its intended form. It happens pretty quickly. You don't have to do anything to make it happen. I think that's uh, partially where the title reassembly comes in. Okay, let's look at the map here. This uh, triangle, the red triangle, is an agent. This agent is 8,000 P with 29 ships. That is way bigger than me. I think we're going to steer clear of them just for the time being until I can increase the size of my fleet a little bit. Now that we have those extra thrusters, we're going to head right into the center of the galaxy. Shouldn't take us that long. My turning is a little weak, but uh, that's because I added all the rear thrusters, so my top speed is way higher than my steering can handle. Ooh. These are uh, an enemy race of plants. They're quite interesting. They fire continually at anyone they perceive to be a threat. They can be neutralized quite easily with these lasers. My ship is getting pecked apart, though. My shields are still holding. These red asteroid... Well, the gray asteroids we had seen before, I hadn't quite explained for asteroids, but they were. The red asteroids explode when you ram into them. They do damage to your ship. We got a long way to go towards the center still, but we can take out some of these ships and we can gather their resources. I have up to 1,353 resources now. That is not quite enough to build another version of myself, but taking out some of these plants should enable me to do that. This uh, big round station, it counts as a ship just like any other ship, but it's got no thrusters, so it's entirely stationary. That's the core in the center I was able to take out. Now I'm going to dig my way out of here. Dig my way out of here with my proton swords. You don't get any reward for taking out uh, chunks of ships. You have to destroy a ship entirely, and then you are rewarded with whatever is inside the hold, which is usually a couple hundred resources. We are almost... We need 3,846 to spawn uh, an ally with a design that matches our own. We need to head south to reach more difficult regions. And we're heading into the territory of the Purples. I do not recall offhand what that represents, but there they are. Lone Wolf by Shadow Dump. Glass Death. Uh, I guess the purples are uh, player design ships from other players. It's not multiplayer, but your designs are uploaded and shared with other players so that things stay interesting and you don't just have to fight the same AI ships over and over. Even this long, narrow strip should be a ship, yeah? It's a laser ship. I have taken it out pretty easily. If you can figure out where the enemy ship's core is, you can usually take the ship out a little more easily. But uh, with most of my lasers set to auto-fire, they should just try that on their own. Ooh, that ship is a lot bigger than me. I'm going to avoid it until I can build up a fleet. These uh, mostly blue ships are the ships that we tried playing as in the last episode. But uh, we just didn't... You know, I didn't have a feel for it, and I didn't want to fumble through things with an audience. You know, I wanted to figure out what I was doing first. It looks like we now have enough resources, so we're going to build another version of our ship. There we go. We lost our resources. We're getting an ally now. We have to guard him while he is growing. He is still in his infancy there. It's going to take maybe 20 seconds before he can... Oh! He was destroyed. I need to maybe find a safer location to do that next time. need to not be taking weapons fire when I build an ally. That was a big mistake. But even without an ally, we're making pretty short work of these guys. We're back up to 2,000 resources. Uh, one of the tricks with these big long ships is that their core is at the back. 
but their weapons are at the front, so if you can just get right into that center location, you can snipe them and take them out. Okay, now we have enough resources for another ally, but I'm going to head to safer region of space before I uh, let my factory bring my ally into play. We'll uh, head for a friendly station here, can help defend our ally as it is being built. This looks safe enough. Um, you can design these ships to build more quickly if you put a lot of thought into the layout. This layout is a little bit simple and uh, you know it takes maybe a minute for him to get built up. But uh, once he's built up he should be almost as strong as we are and we should be able to handle the center of the galaxy no problem. Those huge blue ships we played as last time but it's just difficult to have an effect when your allies are that powerful I guess to, to just find a way to be useful. There we go. He is almost finished, it looks like. Half finished. So we're going to head back into dangerous territory. It takes a long time, really, to build up from the start, where you're just a little teeny fighter, and you're towards the end of the game, you're basically controlling the Enterprise, or flagship. His core is located right about there, so that should finish him off. And you don't have to take out the guns he has up front. If you can take out his command core, he's finished. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I was destroyed! I was destroyed. Um, I don't know what destroyed me there, actually. But we're just going to head right back down and try and regather our resources. Our ally is no longer in our fleet, but... If we can find him, we can just, there we go, pay a small fee, get him back in, under our control. You can't really control him, but he does follow you at least, so he can help you fight. Okay, let's try and take out some more of these b big blue ships without uh, screwing up again. Okay, here we go. There's a big one over there to the side. But maybe we can take out this station. This uh, blue race, apparently, from what I saw when I was playing as them, does not get shields. But they have really powerful guns and really good armor plating. We have shields, though. We also have lasers. Lots of lasers is actually how this ship is designed. I want to take out that really big one in the bottom of the screen here. I think that'll be a good stopping point. Once we can take out his... Okay, they're taken out. We're going to just charge right in and use, put our swords to use. Uh-oh, it's two on two. I thought it was going to be two on one. And we've been destroyed. You know what? I think that's going to be a good point to call it here. So thanks for watching, and see you again next time on Smuggle Fist Game.